because I couldn't see and I didn't know a whole lot of things. So when somebody, you could catch a 16 year old talking about something, yeah, I just paid my phone bill. I was like, what's a phone bill? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with that? Wait, why would I need to do that? Uh, yeah, my mother pays for it. She take care of all of that. She gonna be my, my a lady mm -hmm. for, for right now. Shout out to her, it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday. So now let me ask you this. So when you were modeling, you came across how many other people with albinism in the model industry? Because you said you dated two models. It, it was just me and them two models. <laughs> it was just me and them two models. I didn't come across nobody. Yeah, it was a miracle that I even met them. Because to be honest, you met them through the same agency, or how did that happen? No, they're not signed to my agency. Um, one of them is signed to another one, and then the other one, I believe, he's independent. But okay. My um, I met them through social media. One of them I've been talking to, like I I just met him, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, he's cute. I want him, and that's what <laughs> I was doing. So, and I'm young, you know. I'm like yeah. 18, 17, turning 18. So I'm I'm young, then turning 18, and now I'm fed up with the BS, like mm -hmm. you know. And then another one, I'm I've been talking to him since I was 18, and you know. We've been talking for, I believe, three, four years. And then nice. we actually got to a point where I was like, let's link. And he was like, sure, I'm with it. And he was in New York, and nice. he came from Queens, and I came from Jersey, and because at the time I didn't live in New York. Mm -hmm. So I'm from New York, though, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved to Jersey, I came, <clears throat> we met up, and we hung out or whatever. You know, and uh, that's how I met him. You know, I was talking to him, and then I gave him my number, and we started talking on the phone, and you know, whatever. I could vent. It was, it was stuff like that. You know. Okay, because that's something that me and Jason argue about all the time. Is because I, I tell him there's not a lot of representation of albinism in the media, yeah. and he says that there is. And then I right before you came here, we were talking about it's, modeling. It's in between. And he's like, there's a bunch of albino models. It is, but there it's is. in between. It's, it's not there, that many, but it's a decent amount of us that's doing mm -hmm. it, that's putting on for all of us. Because let me tell you something. In the beginning, I didn't see nobody. I thought it yeah. was just me. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even think there was people with albinism until I Googled it. And I'm like, yeah, but they're not really as long if I don't yeah. care about it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. But when I got older, I started seeing there were albino influencers doing makeup. MUAs and mm -hmm. I'm looking and I find some woman named Jennifer and she's making lashes for people with albinism. Now, I've been to her, but the fact that I seen her make lashes for people with albinism, I was like, girl, thank you because right. I'm tired of buying the black lashes, the five dollar lashes for four for five dollars. I can't do it. And then I'm seeing this woman come and she's doing makeup and I'm like, sis, I appreciate you because now I know what colors I'm not putting on my skin. Mm -hmm. They ain't look good. If they ain't look good, if you don't feel like they look good on you, they ain't gonna look good I think I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. a particular yes. woman who does these very outlandish colors yes. of makeup. And but you know who that gorgeous, is? Though. No, I have no idea who it is. The thing is though, <laughs> I, 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 I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say anything about modeling. All right, guys. Feel like they group you together with other albino models um, or for a shoot they'll be like okay i'm gonna pair you with this male model because he also has albinism mm, no actually i've never done a shoot with an albino model i'm not even gonna oh, wow. i i have been Surprise. the last big shoot that i did i have what was the only one with albinism there and i you know supposedly there was supposed to be somebody else with albinism but that's what i at least remember hearing i don't know mm. if that's you know i can't mm. confirm that for sure but I was the only one there. There were two people with vitiligo, somebody with, like, she was gorgeous, but she, her face, she had a lot of freckles uh -huh. and stuff, and they oh, just covered okay. it up with rind. I was, it was so pretty, but I was the only one there, and every shoot that I've done, I've been the only person with albinism, and it's been like, you know. Would you be opposed to doing a shoot? If they said, we want you to do an all albino shoot, I was about to with a too. bunch of albino models, would you, um, would you feel like that's, like, <clears throat> cliche, or? No, I, I would love to do it. Um, I would love to do it. I'm not even going to lie. I heard the name Shay before. I heard it before. I feel like I know. Mm. But you said the um, name Shay? Yeah, I've heard it before. Okay. What was that? You said cliche. Oh, oh cliche. cliche. I, mean, like, I thought like, you said Shay. I was like, no. I heard that name before. <laughs> no, I meant cliche like, you I know. think she's one of another albino model, but I've, I've heard that name before. But I don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I would love to be in a shoot with it other albino models, but it's just like, you know, just how we all spread it out. Yeah, it's yeah. easy for us to find each other because we all yeah, right. so, so easy, fact. 
If <laughs> if y'all wasn't there in Castle Hill, I would be like, I'm the only albino person in the world again. I wonder who else. <laughs> they gonna ask me stupid questions so like, you, do you? Y'all don't bump. You know? And I guess I asked you all y'all y'all don't bump into a lot of people. Y'all don't bump into a lot of people with albinism now. No, no. Actually, don't. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think ever since I started doing this show, now I come across so many people with albinism to the point where I start to look silly. Like for example. I see this one woman with albinism getting on the bus, you know, I run up to her and mm-hmm. and I and I tell her, I'm like, oh, hey, do you have albinism? She's like, come on, I know you, I was on your show already. What? And I was just like, oh, oh, okay. you know, and I just kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, it is but I, I, tend to, I tend to see a lot of people with albinism, but I guess that's not true for you guys. 